everybody, welcome back to the shop. Look who I've got here. Hello! <laughs> so this is Mike and Lauren, if you don't already know. They have another YouTube channel that's all about Mike and Lauren. You guys do DIY, finance, travel, all that stuff, right? All that, yep. We got a 40-foot RV with a 24-foot complete mobile workshop. Still in the works of making that work, but we have we do DIY. Yeah. I just saw that thing in the person. It's it's like as long as a house. It's crazy. <laughs> but uh, Mike and Mike's gonna help me with the project. We're gonna build a little red wider wagon ride red rider wagon. Little wood wagon. wagon. You try it. Red wider. Red, red rider wagon. Now do it three times, really fast. I, I'm <laughs> so, that. <laughs> okay, so we're we're gonna get this built and um, we're gonna do a little footage of that so you guys can see the build and there's a little surprise at the end, so you're gonna wanna stick around for that. So this is the wagon that we're going to build, and it's always best to work from drawings or a model when you have somebody else in the shop. Now Mike's going to build the railing around the top, and I'm going to build the base. And I did make this SketchUp file available for free on my website for you SketchUp guys. Sorry, I did not have time to put it into a PDF. Okay, so since Mike's here and I don't have a really big bench, we're going to set up the second bench. This was sent to me by FastCap. This is the new Ron Polk bench, and it's nice to have it because the two guys in the shop, it'll be nice to each have our own bench. I like this. What are these for? Um, for your outfit, you put your table saw right here and your, outfit, your slide will go in there. We'll go in there. And this is so you can use your table saw. Your, this will work with your table saw miter gauge nice. for the router. Oh, so you, so you, so you, yeah, right. Thought of everything, huh? I see what you're doing with the router. Right about here is where everything goes wrong. Um, not with the build, but with the video recording. I had the ultraviolet ND filter on my camera, which made everything a very bright purple when I was building the box. All right, it's not that exciting to watch somebody build a box anyway. So we're gonna skip ahead to finished product. Now Mike made the rails around it. I made the box and added the wheels and painted it during the evening hours. And the next day we got to play with it. Check it out. Daddy made for you. Uh -huh. That's bad. You like it? Yes. We got, we got the watch box. Well, the surprise is that we made the wagon remote controlled. Now, when it first started going, you should have seen my poor daughter's face. But it didn't take long for her to really enjoy it and not want to get off of the thing. So I know there's gonna be some questions about how I'm making this all work, and it's really simple. I'm using a simple remote. Uh, this is something you'd use for an RC car. Now this one, this remote pairs up to what's called a receiver, and this receiver right here in my hand, uh, you plug in servos to it. Now this particular servo right here controls the trigger on the drill. I just have the drill pressed up against the wheel, and that's what makes the whole thing go. The heart and soul of this really is this servo right here. Now this is not cheap. This is a linear servo with a 25 pound thrust and it has 10 inches of throw one way or the other and has a static load of about 500 pounds. So it's a beefy servo. You could actually steer a, steer a car with this servo. Uh, but this servo runs right around $300 and then a 12 volt battery for this can run you anywhere from about 100 bucks on up to 150 or even more than that depending on the quality of battery you get. But just like this small servo, it also plugs right into this receiver. 
Now this is not complicated. Anybody can do this. Now, and I, I did it, so that, that's evident proof that it's not hard to do. Um, so real simple system. It's a plug and play type of situation. The remote, the receiver, and a couple of servos, and I can drive this thing around. So this was a super, super fun project and working with Mike was really great. It was super great to meet Mike and Lauren. I've been watching their show for quite some time and I really enjoy what they're doing. Now they're out traveling around helping people do projects and they don't have a proper workbench. So I decided that I was going to give them the Ron Paltz bench that FastCap sent to me. So I'm sure you'll see it in upcoming videos of theirs. I did some staining on it and made a mess. I just wanted to make sure I took responsibility for it. That is kind of a fun, wild, crazy build. Now, of course, you had to put the remote control on it just because I'm just learning how to do that stuff. And I wanted to show you guys how simple and easy it is to have a little bit of fun. Not cheap, but still fun. What do you guys think? I thought it turned out great. That it was amazing. I, Hudson liked it. Yes, Hudson liked it. Yeah, no, he definitely did. You know, that, the fact that it was pushing you was awesome. And I did need a little more because I just pushed that chuck up against the wheel. Mm -hmm. I could have used like some, I don't know, some gear tape or something in there to a little bit better traction. Worked so, pretty good to me. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe down the road. But I think ultimately what I'm going to end up doing is just pulling it behind my drill powered scooter because that way I can take the kids with me to the park and stuff. That like works that. too. So, yeah. Guys, thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having it. us. It was so, so much fun. I got to say, thank you so much. Absolutely. Um, next time you're in town, stop by. Yeah, All right. definitely. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Everybody, thank you so much again for watching. I really appreciate it. Now, I want to do a quick shout out to Mike and Lauren. They really work very hard at making some really great videos, lots of fun, lots of advice, traveling all over the place. So I would definitely encourage you to check them out. Their links are in the description box below. And I also want to say thank you to FastCap for sponsoring this build. And if you want to learn more about the wrong pulp bench, Again, links in the description box below. And for those of you who would like to build your own red wagon, there is a free SketchUp file available on my free plans page on my website, izzyswan.com. I did not have time to put it in a PDF. Sorry about that, but it is available on SketchUp. For those of you who SketchUp, we'll be talking to you later.